What's going on guys? It's your boy Christian and welcome your faces back to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about the top five Sony a7 II accessories that you guys should consider buying if you guys are new with getting the a7 II or if you've had it for a little minute and was just worrying or thinking about some stuff you should get to make your experience a little bit better. Let's go ahead and hop into those five things you should consider buying either being a beginner or a professional here while using your Sony a7 II. So firstly, we're gonna start off with something that you guys should possibly just have off the rip or is something that you can't necessarily operate the camera without and that's going to be an SD card. Now the one that we're going to be talking about today is going to be the Pro Grade Digital. Now this is a 64 gigabyte SD card and the capacity doesn't really mean anything in this case scenario. Of course, the more capacity you get, the better and the more stuff that you're going to be able to capture with your Sony a7 II. Now, what we're going to be looking at in an SD card is making sure that it's an XC and not an SC, I believe is how it goes. You need to make sure it's an SDXC. Now, if it's an SD something different, now you might not be able to record the full resolution or the maximum quality that you can get out of your Sony a7 II. So if you're looking for an SD card for your Sony a7 II, make sure you guys are looking for an SDX. C card. They're going to be stupid fast. This one here is running 300 megabytes read, 300 megabytes write, which those are going to basically take its place when actually doing high burst photos or with transferring your photos over to your computer. So make sure you guys are looking and grabbing a SDXC card. Remember, capacity doesn't mean anything. Of course, the bigger capacity, the more stuff you're going to be able to capture and hold on your SD card. So secondly, this is going to be kind of like a two-parter, but it's going to be two different objects. It's going to be number two and number three. So number two is going to be a battery or a battery charger. Of course, like I said, this is going to be two different pieces, but it's kind of one all in one, which is batteries and battery charger, because with the Sony cameras nowadays, you don't get a battery charger. It doesn't come with anything for you to stick your battery in to be able to charge it They uh, They actually want you to charge the camera using the cable and a wall plug. It's just it's just kind of cumbersome when you can literally have not just one battery charging, you can have two batteries charging at the same time using that same wall plug. And this is gonna go into the next item we're gonna be talking about, and that's gonna be the battery grip here for your Sony a7 II. Now, we did talk a little bit about batteries, and I didn't go too in-depth about how good the batteries are here on the Sony a7 II, and they aren't as good as you probably would think, and that's why we're looking to get a battery grip. Now, this battery grip is gonna allow you to have two batteries into your camera, so basically doubling the battery life that you would have have if you were just normally using your Sony a7 II with one battery. You're also going to have the vertical orientation with buttons on this side, so you're still going to have C1 and C2, which you have on the top of your Sony a7 II, and it's actually going to be in this vertical orientation. Now, the reason you're going to want this is vertical content is basically really big nowadays so you're going to want this to be able to hold your camera in that vertical orientation and not have any fatigue on your hand or not actually making it look like you're trying to i don't know what that even looks like but hold it like this like a regular camera instead of holding it like this if you didn't have a grip on there so make sure you guys get in the battery grip for your Sony a7 II. This is gonna be number three on our list because this is this is kinda of crucial. Like you're gonna need this to be able to go out and shoot all day with your Sony a7 II. Up next, we're gonna be talking about something that goes on the lens for your Sony a7 II. Now, if you're shooting anything 2.8 or wider and you wanna go outside and shoot in the broad, broad daylight, you're not gonna be able to unless you have ND filters. The two ND filters we're gonna be talking about today are gonna to be the Freewell Variable ND filters. Now, this is a two to five, and then I have a six to nine. Now, this six to nine is gonna be, if you wanna shoot wide open and it's literally like, 
the sun is falling out of the sky and it's super super bright outside you would want to use a six to nine so you can still shoot in your lowest aperture that you can get on your lens now the two to five is going to be kind of like your everyday ND filter you can use this for photos inside and outside um, and these are just going to be case scenario based if you don't have ND filters and you get put in a situation where you know, you want to shoot wide open to get the most aperture, the most depth, and you basically can't expose it correctly. An ND filter, either the two to five or the six to nine, depending on your case scenario, will literally save your footage and of course save your beans because if you show up and you produce an overexposed footage, people are not gonna like that. So make sure you get ND filters just to have, and I'm promising you you will use these bad babies in the case scenario when you need them so now we're going to hop into our very last accessory here that you guys should be buying or getting for your sony a7 ii and that's going to be a strap now this is the peak design wrist strap i do have my sony a7 ii right here it's the first time it's been out in the video and we're talking about accessories for it but this strap just connects right here on your camera now some people don't really like this now the reason i say you should get this is because it's going to help you more than you think if you drop your camera boom you got it held you ain't got to worry about you losing your camera either it being on your left arm or your right arm you're going to be good to go if you're doing any type of sketchy or crazy type of videography where you think that you know if you drop that camera that's it it's over with so make sure you guys are putting a strap on your camera now this isn't the only strap that i own i do have the full peak design actual camera strap that i use i don't have the anchor on this side and i think i left it over there on the pegboard but this is going to be good to actually use for stabilization when you have the full strap going around your back you're able to kind of like tighten the camera up using the strap and using your body as a stabilization mode more so than just having the camera like this in your hand you can actually have a third or fourth point of contact with your camera to make sure you're taking you know nice stabilized photos and nice stabilized videos so that's actually going to be it guys those are going to be those five accessories i think you guys should be picking up for your sony a7 ii remember that's even if you're a beginner you should consider these bad babies if you're a professional you should possibly have most of these things already or you might not have two or three of these things this is going to be good for the people looking to get into getting accessories for your sony a7 ii or the people that are looking to get some better accessories for your sony a7 ii that are going to be very very useful anyways that's going to be it for this video hope you guys did enjoy i have been having a blast with making youtube videos recently if you haven't checked out my car page i've actually got 10 videos going up well that has went up over there on the car page so if you guys are interested in any automotive or you know diy stuff or modifications on a car make sure you guys check the link down in the description below and check it out if you guys just so happen to be interested i've been uploading videos here and there and i've been having a blast so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos if you are make sure you hit that like button if you just happen to be new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one